guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be doing a June flip of my B6 Stylogy. So we finished the month of June. It was not as busy as it usually would be just because of everything that's going on. So you'll see a lot of my stuff is kind of just a lot of blank spaces and just to-do lists. So if you guys see that, that's just kind of how my planning's been going for the month of June. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So I am still in my Moterm B6 cover in this nice brown color. Still have the same thing in the front pocket here. I don't have anything just sticking back here just yet. Um, and then I just have my monthly stickers here that I use on my month at a glance and these are from Caffeine and Plants. Yeah, she changed her name. It was Banana Doodle Shop and I wanna say, no, cause Caffeine Plants is her Instagram. It's Caffeine something, I'll tag it down below for you guys to see. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me flip to where June begins. So this was my beginning part of June. So let me zoom in. So I had my little die cuts here from the Honey Bee Shop, the vinyl um, die cuts of those, and then my freebie from SM Plans, which if you guys have seen my plan with me that I did for uh, the beginning of July, where I kind of went through how I set up my month, you'll see that all of my months, my tiny months at a glance are from SM Plans. So then it goes into my actual appointment month at a glance here. So these inserts are from Principal Kate. And again, so these are the minimal stickers that I have from that shop that I mentioned. And not a lot going on. Um, a lot of things that got canceled and mostly just holidays and birthdays going on. Now this was my highlight of the month where you see that I really fell off that last week of June. So if you saw in my video for July, I actually did not add this setup in for July. Just because I didn't want to be pressured to have to find a sticker that went somewhat with it or write something down that's different from my gratitude. So I kind of just kept it to where I have just my gratitude list in July, which is what I have here. So again, you see that last week kind of just like, I don't even remember what was going on that last week, to be honest with you. There was just a lot of things and we were really busy around the house and it just kind of got a little out of, it kind of got like pushed back to the back of mine, but I'm getting on that back now in July. Here was my June to-do list. I got a lot of these things taken care of. There were two things that I have to migrate to July, which is okay. I've literally been migrating this, uh, this patches one for about three months now. And it doesn't even take that long to do because the most of them are iron on. And I just haven't done them. I don't know. And then I gotta actually move this to July. All right, so then here, it was kind of like my work layout where I had some YouTube videos that I wanted to do and some blog posts, but I'm gonna be sticking just to the YouTube videos part of it because I actually enjoy doing the YouTube videos. And yeah, I just kind of got away from the blog for a little bit. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of me here. Then the next part here was just my breakdowns of my paychecks. So this was before I actually got my finance workbook together and printed and that's where I keep all of that information now so this isn't actually in my July setup but I wanted to make sure that I had everything listed here making sure I know what was coming out for each paycheck then here we go into the first week of July uh, sorry the first week of June so we were actually finishing up school here so I had a couple things that I had to get done but I kept it more minimal this month, just like I wasn't doing any memory keeping here. If there was something, I added it, um, but mostly it was in the gratitude list or in here, and I kind of was just living in the moment for those. So I have these 
Uh, this is a freebie from Papershire in her Facebook group. She usually has every month like a new setup of stickers that you can print or decals, uh, not decals, die cuts that you could print out. So I print out a lot of the flat lays and the ones that are text boxes. And by those, I mean these. So I'll show you guys. So this is actually like my sticker organization. So here... These are all like the die cuts that, not die cuts, but the sticker freebies that I've printed out. So I usually print out a lot of these, which are like the text boxes. So I can place these just around and you'll see that I have a couple of them in this, in the next week in June that I had printed out and I wrote on. And it's just really nice because I print them on sticker paper and they just come out to be a really pretty, pretty thing. All right, so in here, this is a piece of acetate that was a freebie from the former banana doodle shop here. So it says be happy and then I layered that on top of this vellum from honeybee shop which I really love because it's the plants and it's got the nice gold foil here and I just like how it layers with this acetate. Then we go into the second week. So this is one of those paper shire freebies that I was talking about. And I use this to um, mark my tattoo appointment that I had. So this is just that next week. I was doing some workouts that I was, it's the 21 day fix from Beachbody. So I was marking out those and then I kind of stopped marking them off. So then here's, this is a um, quarter box from Happy Scrappy, one of the kits that she did, which I really love this one with the cats. It was just really cute. That's just the rest of that week. Then I have this Daily Affirmations, which is a freebie in the Minimal Planners, I think it was, on Facebook. It's a Minimal Planners Facebook group. Yeah. And I printed it on some vellum. Then I was doing some notes for my cash envelope wallet which i did a flip on so if you want to do that you can check the card that comes up right at the top and then it goes into the next week so i have this one which i guess i forgot to take off this part i guess i took off half of it and then laid it down there we go so this is another one of those freebies from paper shire and then that's another one as well. And I added on a Once More With Love, um, just little sticker. And this is this week. I left this page to kind of put my post-its. And then I have a couple freebies that I had printed out. Um, I can't remember exactly where this one is from, but I printed it on like a clear sticker paper, a clear adhesive paper, and add a little bit of color in the back. Then this one is another freebie that I got from the Minimal Planner Facebook group, and I printed it on Tomoe River paper just because I wanted it to be a little thinner and kind of just sit nicely on the paper. Just some notes that I took from a YouTube video. I have this vellum that I that I got from Happy Scrappy. I think this is one that I printed. I think this was one of the freebies that she gave with the sub kits because every time you sub with her, she sends other digital freebies that you can print out. I think this was one of the ones that I printed out on vellum. Just some more notes from my Amazon videos. And then this is another vellum from Happy Scrappy. So this is one that came in the sub kit. Just love it. I love the silver foil of it. And then I layered that on top of this scrapbook paper from Honeybee Shop. And then I believe this goes into the last week of, no. Yeah, I think so. This is the last week of June. So then here. here. This one I used a lot more of my stickers to kind of represent what was going on that day. And not as many to-do lists going on because I kind of used those as the stickers. So that's pretty much it there. And then I really started getting an itch for personal wide ring planner. 
which I believe I am mentally set on going to. So I kind of have a little breakdown of the sections that I wanted, some certain printables that I wanted to add into there. And this was just some notes that I took for a YouTube video just to kind of make sure that I, this was like my July flip, so things I wanted to add in. And then here was my June review, so I added what I was watching, which I've been binge watching Sleepy Hollow on Hulu. What I've been loving in June were pears. I have no idea why I had this sudden desire to have pears all the time. I'm excited about my YouTube channel growing, which is great for me. Thank you guys so much for staying and watching these videos. And then I kind of just added a little bit of notes here. And then this is where my July starts. So if you saw my uh, setup for July, this will look familiar for you. And then the last two days of June, which if you saw, I added them as a uh, two days per page here. So then this was Monday and that was Tuesday. And I went very extremely minimal here. Pen to paper, that was it. But yeah, so that is pretty much what was going on in June. Like I said, nothing really much going on um, besides the fact of me wanting to change to personal wide, which if you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I made this gorgeous uh, front dashboard from a journaling card from that honeybee shop kit that I got and then I layered it on top of this scrapbook paper that she sent in so this is what the scrapbook paper looks like so on this side where the journaling card is I put it here because I just like the grid marks to be behind it with a little bit of green showing through and then on the back this is the back pattern so if you guys can see I have a lot of like little things already set for the um the setup and then there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys, which is this. So this is a vellum pocket that I made. So I'm gonna do a YouTube video later on kind of showing how I did it and all that stuff. But I layered two vellums on top of each other. Basically it's four pieces because there's these two here and then these two. So each side has a pocket and then the middle part also opens up and I have this self-care menu from See Amy Draw. And that's just kind of tucked in here. I have some Muji post-its and then I have some freebie, a freebie sheet from Catspresso Co. Um, and then on the back I have this, I can't remember where I got it from exactly. I think it was Live Love Create. I can't remember, but it came like a pack of all of these. And you've seen one in here. It's kind of like my magical one. And so I kind of just have that tucked into the back. But yeah, so that's one thing that I was really excited about. And I love how it came out. And then these are all personal wide, which I like it because I miss my ring planner and being able to have a section for everything. But my, I had a pocket. It was way too small. And then I had personal which I like the height of it, but just the width was not where it needed to be. So personal wide, the sheets are slightly smaller than a B6 TN, including like the rings that would go through. So it's slightly smaller. <clears throat> so I'm excited for that. I am, like I said in my budgeting video, if you guys saw, I am three quarter, no, one quarter, one third of the way, goodness gracious one third of the way to my goal that I need to get the specific planner that I want, which is a custom VDS. So, but yeah. So that was my flip for June. If you have any questions about where anything's from, if I didn't mention it, just go ahead and mention and ask me down in the comments below. Thank you again so much for staying this long in my video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.